Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a what is new at Ulta haul to share with you guys because my pile was kind of filling up from my P.O. box and then I did go and do a hefty amount of shopping the other night just because I have done a what's new at the drugstore, actually three of those recently. And I haven't done an Ulta video in a little bit, so I thought, hey, there's a lot of cool stuff. Let's dig in, let's haul it. Also, I, oh, I don't know, like sassy hair flip. Also, P.S. I am going to be swatching all of these items for you guys. I don't want to just go like, and I got this, and then move on. Like, I actually want to swatch it and kind of share with you guys why I purchased it, what I'm thinking about it, just, you know, a little more information than just the typical haul. And we're going to get down and dirty with makeup. It kind of sounded a little bit weird, but you guys get it. Okay. All right, this is from Matrix. This is the Volume Fixer. They have a whole new line out with a bunch of different products from Matrix. And I remember using Matrix products like way, way back when, high school days. Um, but this one is new. And honestly, I could wear this as like a body spray because this one feels like it's a very warm fragrance. And I don't know, I find it completely enjoyable when I'm finishing my look and doing a little of this action, let's just fix some of those flyaways. And this is a volume hairspray, so it has a lot of hold but not crunchy hold, which is what I like because I tend to use a lot of hairspray throughout the day. It's one of my tricks. I kind of flip my hair upside down and I'll either reach for a hairspray like this or a texturizer and then kind of messy it up. So. Um, I'm excited that I have this on hand. It's really, really good. I have not tried this yet. This is the new Smashbox Instamat Lipstick Transformer. Oh my gosh. This is like the one item on Twitter that everybody is like, please, please, let's see if it really does the matte thing. Like, let's do a, a WTF or let's see how it works out. This is said to turn any lipstick into a matte lipstick. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like their um, original primer. Like very dimethicone -y. Whoa. Whoa. Do you guys see that? Huh. Um, yes, please. And it feels like light as a feather. Okay, I'm digging that immediately. Glad that I grabbed it. Um, I will keep trying it out and I'll let you guys know how it goes the more I use it. Something I tried out many weeks back, I think over a month back, this is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. This is their newer mascara, and sadly, I don't like it. I just really was not impressed. It's not that it smudges or flakes or anything like that. It just did not pump up my lashes the way that I really like them to be pumped up. So for me, this was just a little bit too natural looking, and I feel like this is supposed to be a really volumizing, like, ba-boom lashes. Like, you know, it's called X-Rated. And to me, it just, it was more PG than X-rated. So this one is a pass in my book. Um, something that I had like a teeny tiny sample of that every time I used it in the comments, you guys would be like, did you refill your lips or did you get lip plumpers again? Because your lips look really big. This is from Smashbox as well. This is the LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. These are incredible. These are newer and they come with a little spongy thing on the back in case you do want to use it as a blush. You can actually blend it out with a sponge. Really well thought through packaging, and I haven't swatched this one yet, but I have a sample of this one, and it is really, really good. Very, very beautiful. Let's just, you know, more is more. Let's go for it here, but do you see how that kind of just adds a little extra oomph to the center portion of my lips. It's gorgeous, love it, top shelf, 100%. And then this one is the Hollywood and Highlight, kind of like Hollywood and Highland. I haven't tried this out yet, but I like the texture of these so much that I thought, you know, maybe on the cheeks, maybe just on the eyes even, just like a good standard, more cool toned, creamy highlight would be nice to have on hand and Again, the texture is really, really nice. I decided to go ahead and get the brand new um, Brow Definer Triangular Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. I actually am not the biggest fan of this. I like the original much better. I feel like I have more control. I think if you have thicker brows, you might... 
I think if you have thicker brows, you might really enjoy this because you would be able to get a nice kind of fill in and arch a little bit quicker than with the brow whiz, which is such a teeny tiny precise tip. But if you have thinner brows, go with the original. The new one is just, I, I just did not like it. It just put too much product in my brows too quickly. So not loving that one. This however, from It Cosmetics, oh my God goodness this is the brow power super skinny and i got this in universal medium brown this is in the front of ulta right now you'll see a display and they have a ton of different shades and i don't know what it is it's that teeny tiny precise tip but there's something that doesn't just create brush strokes with this it actually like blurs and fills them in and the spoolie on here is fantastic it is what is in my brows today and i I'm in love. It is quick, it fills them in, it looks natural, and you can create both a fill in and brush strokes to kind of cheat the look of actual brow hairs. So I am so far really, really digging this. I'm happy I purchased it. Happy girl about it. Okay, um, really quickly, this is not new, but this was thanks to um, Nicole Young Wild and Polished. I talk about her a lot because she's just one of those channels that I always check in with. And I watch her on Snapchat and I watch her channel. She mentioned that her favorite matte palette, she's like, everybody likes the Kat Von D matte eyeshadow. And I really think the best matte eyeshadow is the Too Faced Natural Matte. So when I was in Ulta, even though this is not new, I was like, uh, I was like, if she says it's the best, then I want to try that. Like I want in on that. I have been into the um, new Bon Bons palette from Too Faced, the chocolate bar. I find that one so beautiful, blendable. And then I was looking at these colors and I was like, these are great. Like this is the ultimate everyday palette and it is so compact and so tiny, not crazy expensive. You get a lot of product and so far I am loving it. Let me just show you like these side ones right here. It's like a peach toned Neapolitan ice cream going on right now, right here. Um, these are smooth and beautiful and uh, thanks Nicole because now I have a new palette that I love. I'm not gonna stay on this for very long because I am about to do a battle of the cushion foundations video. That'll be going up next week. I have been putting every single one that has launched to the test. Literally every day I'm trying multiple foundations at the end of the day, taking them off, putting them on, researching the ingredients, just really going in to detail with these new cushion foundations. And I saw this at the front of Ulta. This is the Take a Deep Breath Cushion Foundation with Clean Air Technology and SPF 20 sunscreen. This is from Philosophy. They're known for their skincare, but something about that actually makes me really excited for a product like this because a foundation within a brand that is known for skincare makes me think that it's gonna be really healthy and good and beneficial for my skin and give me coverage and do the job of a foundation too. So um, I have tried this out already. I'm actually wearing it today and so far so good, but I don't want to give you too much of a comparison because I do have that video coming up where literally, I mean, like I have cushion, 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 cushion. These are from Rimmel. This is the Mag Magnifies, oh, play on words. This is the Magnifies Intense Stay True Color Long Lasting Shadow and Coal Eyeliner. Now these guys, oh my goodness. I don't even need to do like a hot or not or anything. Like these are worth the money. They are under 10 bucks. They are gorgeous. You get two shades in one. The product is beautiful. I really love the champagne shade in this duo. What are you called? What you call little friend, huh? Um, I will link below the two that I have. I like them both. Let me just kind of touch up the inner corner so you can see how bright and gorgeous this is. So pretty. This is from Tarte. This is the lip paint and I only grabbed one. This is the shade Love Spell. I just think this is a beautiful kind of bright berry shade. Looks promising, but you know, we shall see. So these are available. They have a ton of colors right now from Tarte. 
You guys know that I have been kind of testing the waters as far as Japanese products go, and I really, really love their eyeliner. I love their pressed powder. Um, spoiler alert, that will be in my favorites for next month. I've been using it a ton. And then they have these new foundations. This is the Luminous Foundation. I have the shades 7, 6, and 8, and I am going to put these to the test as well. We all know foundation and mascara, those are the ones that I keep trying more and more and more and brow products. Who am I kidding? I just like trying everything new, um, but these come in a pump, they are glass jars, and because I have been loving Japanese so much, I have high hopes for this. This is kind of a sneak peek. This came in my P.O. box, but Benefit has a huge counter at Ulta, so you know you'll be able to find this stuff there once it launches. This is the Pore Professional Matte Rescue. I really like the Pore Professional, like the actual primer primer. This might be too intense for me because I am kind of dry. Oh, it's more of a gel. Okay, that's interesting. So it's a gel that's gonna minimize the look of pores. Um, you know, maybe I'll use it on the areas where I do get more oily and my pores are more visible and we'll see how that goes. But this is something that is brand new. And also, this is new. They are real tinted mascara primer. 91% of people said it's soft enough to layer on mascara six hours later. So they're saying you can actually put this on top of your mascara. If you need a little bit of a pick-me-up throughout the day and your lashes are not looking so cute, that this is a softer formula that you can kind of just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. So yeah, wear it as a mascara primer, wear it alone, or you can touch up with it pretty cool. Everybody is into brown Kylie Jenner-esque lips right now and <laughs> Too Faced brought out some more melted liquid lipsticks which I think the formulation on those is stunning, gorgeous, long wearing. It's really kind of like the liquid lipstick trend but isn't going to totally dry out your lips. You're going to get that opaque coverage but you're not going to feel like the life is sucked out of your mouth. So this is the Melted Chocolate. I think these are really, really pretty. I hope one of these is flattering on me because to be honest, the whole brown lipstick trend kind of just looks weird on me, but I have hope that one of these will work out. And I just wanted to share with you guys that they are available and give you guys some swatches. Also, you guys know that I love the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. I did a hot or not on this with swatches. I will link that below. This palette is so phenomenal. Why am I talking about this? This is not new. This is not what this video is about. Um, let me focus and share with you guys that Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay are continuing the collaboration. There is a blush palette, and this shade right here, OC, is so incredibly unique and gorgeous and beautiful. You get some gorgeous blushes in here. They are a beautiful, typical Urban Decay formulation, so they're good. Um, but the colors are fantastic. Angel, you can use as a highlight. Lo-Fi, you can use as a bronzer. So it's a real functional, beautiful blush palette that also has um, a highlighter and bronzer. Um, I might be missing two lip liners or they only have six lip liners and eight lipsticks. I'm not quite sure. Um, either way, let's look at some swatches. I really don't have much to say on these as far as like, oh, I'll review them later or whatnot because Urban Decay, their liners are really great, especially their lip liners. I just feel like they go on really creamy, really beautiful. I am actually wearing today the shade Ex-Girlfriend from this range and the same shade on my lips, Ex-Girlfriend. It is actually quite glossy and very flattering. It has that kind of brown, really beautiful nude undertone, but still a little bit pinky at the same time too. So I'm loving this. Plaid, Wonderland, Phone Call, Firebird, Rock Study, 714, and Spiderweb. I'm really excited to play with these. I actually think for brighter shades, they are very flattering. And Urban Decay, I think I have always, always liked their lip products. So I think these are going to be a hit. If you see a color you're drawn to that you think would look good on you, the formulation is great. So keep your eyes open for when this collection launches. And can we just like take a moment and admire how freaking cute the packaging is. I think this is so fun with the black and gold. I hope you guys enjoyed my giant what is new at Ulta haul, even though some of it is a sneak peek and is so brand new that it is not even there yet. 
do you guys like that? Do you enjoy me doing a haul with things that are kind of like, ooh, this is just launching right now? Because sometimes I feel like I only wanna show things that I purchase myself, but I do get products sent to me. So let me know your thoughts and how you feel about that in the comments below. And I hope you're having a phenomenal, beautiful, wonderful day, whatever you are doing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.